Uh, hello, everybody. Before we start this podcast, we want to just give a, uh, a shout out to our fellow content creator. And uh, he was a guest on our show, BJ Raniac. His uh, brother passed away. And uh, yeah, we would like to send our condolences to him and the family. Uh, so we're going to raise a shot real quick to, uh, to Mike. To Mike. Cheers to you, brother. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Kayla, Jeff, and Sean back here in the den. Kind of having a little deja vu moment. Because if you didn't check our social media, middle of the show last night, the power went out in Twin Lakes, where we live. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And we were joking about it because we were on a good run. Everything was flowing nice. It was, you know, we were we just got done watching the fights. Everybody was yeah, amped so we up, pumped. Mm-hmm. And that was a good time. Midway through, legitimately, like at the thirty-four minute mark, it just one thirty a.m. went black, darkness. And as Charlie Murphy <laughs> would say, <laughs> or yeah. uh, Rick James, yes, the darkness brothers. <laughs> <laughs> it was, what, what do you say? It was them and Wesley Snipes yeah. were the darkest black dudes <laughs> on the planet. <laughs> so the fights. Uh, Holy shit. Well, welcome in right now to 2.0. Yes, 2.0. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm having some serious So technically, vu. we started this podcast this morning yeah. at 1.30, mm-hmm. 1 no, o'clock at 1. a.m. At 1, after the fights were over. Yeah. And the, then we, then we a, took a eight hour, nine hour break. Yeah. That is Sunday fun day. And now here we are. <laughs> so best fight card we've seen years. Long time. Like we watched all the fights too, like from early prelims all the way through. And there was not, there was one bad fight. And it was boring the, one. Yeah. Yeah. It was the Al Jermaine Sterling and uh Calvin Cater fight. Yeah. Was a rough one to that watch. That was it. And I sure. legit started watching it at like four o'clock yeah. in the afternoon. It was long. And then Max Holloway and Justin Gaethje put on a show. That was wild. That was <laughs> such wild. a good fight. If and you haven't seen it, oh, believe so uh, if you haven't seen it, then you have no social media and you're blind <laughs> because <laughs> oh, I know I saw it all my over Facebook today. Facebook feed oh, was, was just wild. Gaethje getting slept with one second left on the clock. A small part of me still wishes that he would have won because, like, because of the eye pokes. Yes, yeah, yeah. the eye pokes, man. There was like each eye. That dude just went in and got him. Then we had our. Uh, Trump don't trust China. China is asshole. <laughs> our two our two Chinese fighters fight for the woman's title, and that was old girl was put to sleep at the end of the first round legit sleeping no her eyes were not closed i will still fight you guys on this yeah but let me break yeah open. when you I've get knocked out crackheads in vegas <laughs> <laughs> wide open eyes yeah. out on the ground <laughs> and then oh. she battled i thought she almost won that fight it was close yeah. this the it third really round close. definitely was hers Cause she was yeah. laying some laying the scunion on her. I mean, I kind of wanted her to win towards the end, just because, yeah. like, when you're at like the brink of being just choked out and just dominated. Oh, hundred percent. To, to come back from that and just fight like that, like I was, I was rooting. Well, secretly. she was like a was little beast. Like you would think that girl would get her in that headlock again, and you're like, she's done. She, in and the second sudden, round, she, she almost had her too. Got her again, yeah. And then uh, the main event. The coldest knockout I have ever seen in my life. He just, John Claude Van Damme stopped the referee (laughs) after he got, Pereira just got cup checked and he just said, no, we're fine. A little faint later, then he threw that shovel hook, AKA an uppercut and just, oh my God. That dude was counting lights on the ceiling on his way down. He's like, oh, there's like a lot of them. (laughs) <laughs> I, I think he was surprised too that the ref didn't stop it because like he hit him and was like ready to raise his hands because he was done. And yeah. then he and then he gave him the oh hi you. And he did. He's like, <laughs> look at him, look at him. And what it was was because 
in the press conference before Jamal Hill was like, he ain't never seen no one like me, blah, blah, blah. Bro, we ain't <laughs> never seen no one like Alex Pereira. Yeah, that's wild. Alex Pereira was not sweating. No. In the post-fight interview. He said he wants to fight next month <laughs> in he, Brazil. Three weeks. He wants to fight Tom Aspinall, who is the heavyweight interim champion. So he, if he goes up to heavyweight. What was he at, 205? He started at mm -hmm. 185, won the belt, okay. beat Izzy, then in the rematch lost to Izzy. So he bumped up to 205 because Jamal Hill got hurt. Yeah. He, and... Uh, it won was, that belt. It was an open fight. It was an, a fight for the title, which was between Yuri Prohoch Prohochka, who another great fight. He was the guy with the stupid ponytail. Yeah. Oh, that was such a stupid ponytail. <laughs> it reminded me of when people put tinfoil on top of their heads mm -hmm. with the thing it, to keep away from the aliens. To, yeah. to keep from the movie science. To keep Major uh -huh. League Baseball from reading their thoughts. So. <laughs> Fucking Major League Baseball. So Pereira beats Prohochka. Comes to champ, and then Jamal Hill obviously gets his rematch because he never lost the title. He just had, you know, strip from him and gets obliterated in the first round. Worst tattoo of all time, or? Oh, boy. Yes, yes it is. Helper yes, it is. <laughs> Worst. Not even hamburger helper. No. It looked like burn victim hands that were tattooed on his chest. Listen, you know I'm not artistic. At all. However. However, I feel like I could have drawn better thumbs up to put yeah. on his chest. That was that's like maybe the worst tattoo. I don't know who his I've art, seen his tattoo artist is, time. but uh, he did that himself with a in the in the mirror in the mirror, <laughs> in the mirror with a <laughs> big pen and a sewing needle. Oh. And the, yeah, if if <laughs> they let Pereira fight, what's ask, heavyweight start at? What's the minimum? Two twenty five. No minimum is. Uh, anything over 206. Oh, I didn't know that. Per I know the ma Why do they have a maximum? Because at... It's what, 265? At 265, then after 265, it goes to super heavyweight. And then that's just big, sloppy, fat guys. Just <laughs> it's, sumo, it's sumo wrestling. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's juiced up Bob Sapp versus, you know... Okay. So UFC has never had a super heavyweight division and probably never will because you don't see... That's just two fat dudes fighting over a ham sandwich, basically. I just, I, <laughs> I, how did Brock Lesnar get down to, to 265? 65? Bro, he had to have no water in his body. That is a mountain of a man. He is a thick boy. I didn't realize, like, we were you talking, like, at the way about the, the weigh ins. Pereira's hands are so big yeah. for his weight class. Like, it's, he put it next to the dude's head, and it was the size of his head. You remember the, what was it, the, the big show? Put his hand, his fist next Against to uh, Floyd, Floyd Mayweather's, Mayweather's head. <laughs> it was the same size. Yeah. That's crazy. Wild shit. But, yeah, best night of fights I've seen in a long it time. It was good. And when you, well, obviously, there's a lot of things that we discussed last night. <laughs> and we're kind of doing uh, the 2.0 version. <laughs> yeah. But, um. It's hard. I mean, it's it's a lot. It's eighty bucks. I do like that it's on ESPN. If you have ESPN Plus, which yeah. if you have Disney and Hulu, then just bundle the shit. Yeah, you pay you the twelve dollars a month or whatever it is. Yeah, for all three. Yeah. Um. So they do have free fights on pretty much every Saturday. Yeah. But it's hard to spend eighty bucks every eighty dollars mm -hmm. every fucking fight card, and a lot of the time it's it sucks. Not great. So, so I wasn't even. When this card first came out, you and I were both like, uh, like it wasn't the greatest. There wasn't like no one kids. I didn't give a shit about Pereira and Hill. That was the thing. Yeah, there's a couple of fights I want to see. I wanted to see the Gaethje Holloway fight, which I actually thought Gaethje would have beat him because Ga Gaethje is a normal 155 or normally that's and Max has always fought in the sl the slower the lower weight classes. Yeah. So when they fought, I'm like, oh, Gaethje, Gaethje might be the first guy to stop Max. What was crazy I was is wrong. I think that spinning that spinning back oh, at kick the end of the first round and it hit him right in the nose and that like he kept fucking with it. It was in his head. And then big time. And Max is one of the best boxers in MMA, in all of MMA. The Calvin Cater fight where he was talking to him. No the luck. best boxer ever. No talking punches. to he's talking to Daniel Cormier, who is outside the cage, and he's punching the dude in the face. <laughs> yeah. It was the wildest shit I ever saw. I'm the best boxer ever. Whack, 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 whack. 
And this dude just kept, he hit him 500 and something times. I really just <laughs> wanted to see that. Uh, okay, so it was Justin and Max, and Justin yeah. is the one that the, kept getting hit in the nose. That's in the eyes, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. Well, no, he Gang kept cheating, getting yeah. hit in the nose, too. Oh, as, oh soon, yeah. as soon as Max saw that nose was broken, that was a giant. And that was like, but like just the first last engine. second of, of the, the first, first round, he busted that fucking nose. And then the oh. second round, Kayla was like, she wanted some street justice. I did. I was like, I'd go getting, for the fucking throw. He got throat. poked in each eye. Like, yeah, yeah. like it was he got awful. The, he got the finger first in the right eye. And then he got the, the thumb, thumb in the, the left, left eye. And he kept getting hit in the nose. And I was like, I'd be, I'd tear that dude's throat out. There's no way. I'd be it, done. It was, that was honestly one of the best fights I've ever seen. That's why you're not a fighter. Because you fight with emotion. <laughs> right. Well, that was my thing. I was like, how does this guy not, like, after one eye poke, I'd right. be like, like all you right. You just want to just rage and tackle him. Yes. But Some also, justice. that also goes to show how tough Justin Gaethje is. Because most guys, you see him in, like, those kind mm -hmm. of fights, those title fights like that, they get poked in the eye. They're like, oh, yeah, I can't, I can't see. Continue. And then they win on a, a technicality. Well, because he can't see. But from what I understand, he can't really see anyway. Justin Gaethje has the worst <laughs> eyes I have ever. He usually... I don't know if he got LASIK or got his shit fixed, but when he first was coming up, he had those thick ass glasses, and yeah. he takes those off, and you see him fight, and he looks like we can tell he's uh, he's borderline cross-eyed. Yeah, he's got some. Looks, he must. Yeah, he's probably he at some point was probably almost legally blind. Yeah. yeah. So like t for him to get poked in the eye, he can't see. He's like, that's my baseline. I'm used to that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I we were we kind of just sat in awe that whole fight. We're just, it was the card. I, it was great. The whole night was awesome. Shout out to UFC 300. Yeah, that was, that was uh, and that's actually kind of a tradition that Jeff and I have done since UFC 100. I used to actually, yeah. So UFC 100, we watched out in my driveway on the projector. <laughs> yeah, and I made Arachetta. Then I did the same thing for UFC 200, and it was raining and shit that night. Remember yeah, that? we had to put it in your garage yeah, and yeah, then brought it back out. It later. was cold as balls that night too. <laughs> There's a lot of people there. It was a fucking yeah. good time. And then UFC 300, I'm just like, no, we're just going to, we got to do a podcast afterwards. So, well, just, yeah, we weren't even going to get it, to no, be honest. And no, we like, were ah, both. I was debating. But then we're like, it's 300. It, you know what I mean? It's the, it's the 300, you know, you got to, when it hits those, you know, milestones. Because like, I know they brought me right back in. So yeah. I'm going to buy the next one. 301. It's going to be well, dog no, shit. <laughs> we're going to, we'll probably make, we'll probably miss 301. Might get 302 because that is uh, Dustin Poirier and Islam Makachev for the belt. Mm -hmm. And we're definitely getting 03 because that's Conor McGregor and... Uh, oh, yeah. Is it official? It's official. So June 20... Oh, no. <laughs> Shut up. We're up in Elkhart, aren't we? June 26th is a day to remember oh. at the rave. <laughs> So now I gotta think oh, if, if, right. if I'm gonna go to a concert or if I'm gonna <laughs> watch the fight. Just watch the fight on your phone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> middle of the pit, just, yeah. <laughs> just fucking jamming and fucking watching the fights. Yeah, Aww. fucking multitask. Oh man, last night was funny too because I don't know what it was, but we were in a pot. We're in the good. We were in a good zone last night. I'm and, just. Oh, go ahead. And when the power went out. I was checking the time to make sure I could say it now. The top, the power goes out, and all three of us simultaneously just go, fuck! <laughs> but then we sat here for almost a solid minute before even moving. Well, because we thought, Cause I was, was like, like waiting for it to flick back on, and I'd like, be this like... This isn't happening. Like, Pitch this Black is, just sat here. This isn't happening. <laughs> then we, is it happening? It happened. I mean, it sucks it happened. I mean, yeah, we did the podcast. We were doing the podcast. We were in a good flow. But I'm just... I'm glad it didn't happen during the fights. Oh, <laughs> God. Oh. That would have sucked. That, that would have been sucked. so and mad. And then seeing the highlights, I would have been like, you got to be fucking shitting me. So watching, like going through and watching all the, like everybody that was there, a dude bet Max Holloway to win in the fifth round by knockout. Oh, in the last second, too. And that, it was like, he, uh, what did he win? 25 grand on 500 bucks. Damn. <laughs> One second left knocks him out. That yeah. dude, that dude was like, "Fuck! I just lost five hundred bucks. This fight's God. awesome." Then, bam, knocks gets knocked out. And the other thing that was great too is, I mean, Kayla's an avid, you know, UFC fan. I, 
she watches it mostly because we, we have friends over and it's on. Yeah. And we're all drinking and having a good time. <laughs> but most of the Is time, that blood? Like, uh. that was not me. <laughs> I know. Still, <laughs> but I, I mean, as a as a female and an avid fan, like I mean, you were like engaged last. Oh night yeah, was no, it was good. Shit. A it casual good. fan, not an avid fan. Yes. Yeah. Casual. Also like, ah. yeah. Avid is like I don't know most. I watch. I watch. I watch. <laughs> yeah, I watch right. the Contender series. Yeah, no, it was it was good. But I yeah. mean, like I said last night, like watching the girls fight. At one point, I was sitting there with my own chin tucked because I was like, "Tuck your chin." Kayla was actually Kayla actually had some good head movement on the couch. Like, oh, oh my god, get out of there! Oh, yeah, it was good. It was a good fight. We had, the boys had some people over or had their buddy over and. Bella had her friend over, and they were everybody was just the boys watched the fights with us. It was us. a good night. It was a great night. It was. It was. It was, it was a good fun. day. It, yeah. It was Sean a, said he had a good day. Yeah. We had a good day today. Yeah. I went and saw my buddy Brian, my sister's ex husband, who we were always tight. When yeah. They, you know, you know, when you got family members that get divorced, you're like, oh man, finally. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank God. You know what I mean? They're like, it's that couple that you're just like, oh, that wasn't Brian. I, me and Brian were tight. Football. Brian went to that Houston Texans game with me, uh, Sauce, and Mac when it was negative fourteen. Yeah, like <laughs> we and we tailgated. We cracked a beer. Oh, he's savages. I crack a beer. I set it on the back of the tire because it, it was a Glen Hiddick, a uh, Pathfinder or something. Yeah, with the tire on the back. It. Maybe. No, this was. What, this is like 18 cars ago. Oh. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> he has a different. They change cars like they change oh, pants. No, Yeah. <laughs> so we, I set my beer down. I get the grill lit. I go to grab my beer, and it's just slush. That's how cold it was. Yeah. Out. And we sat through that whole game. Got tuned up. It was my first game with Brian. First thing he does, because my uncle's seats are awesome. I mean, eleven rows mm -hmm. up, north mm -hmm. end zone. When I take people to games. I'm like, have you ever been to a game before? And most people are like, oh, no, I've never been. I've never. All right, let me take you then. So yeah. your first game needs to be, you need to be that close. Like Kayla's first game was Bears-Packers. and we're, Yeah, you know, it, was, it was good. I don't remember a whole lot. Well, besides the guy buying you guys beers and Jeff trying to get, <laughs> Jeff was always getting jerked off. Oh. By the guy. So how many tickets does your uncle have? Four. Okay, so but he knows the people. Yeah, because they've all all the people in that area have had season tickets for forty years. Okay, so it's all the same people over and over and over yeah. again. Yeah, but yeah, this guy just kept running, rubbing my thigh. Oh, but as <laughs> let me just say, because however, Jeff however. is normally the person like he used to sick all the lesbians on me out at the bar, and he thought it was so <laughs> funny. And I'm like, I, I Jeff, Jeff used to get tuned up and would walk up to walked up to me the one time 30th birthday and just cuffed my balls and just looked at me in the eye. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, so he, that's him. Right. And then yeah. he's like, well, are you getting free drinks? Enjoy it. And I'm like, all right. Oh, uh, yeah. So Kayla was sitting there the whole time with this Sheshire cat. Oh, hell yeah. Because he looked at face. me at one point so uncomfortable and I said, we're getting free drinks. He just aren't keeps we? grabbing Jeff's inner thigh. Going, <laughs> Look I'm at like, the hog on this guy. <laughs> I'm gonna let it ride because yeah, it, I mean, you go to a football game, you're talking sixteen bucks a beer. Oh, and he was buying you guys Blue Moon, so that was like oh yeah, twenty bucks a beer almost. I didn't pay for a drink the entire game, no, no. or for my wife. It was yeah, awesome. No, it was that great. was that was shout fun. out to that guy. Um, let me know when you go to another game. <laughs> my thigh is. Available, <laughs> especially now. It's available. Let's go, baby. So, back to Brian. So this is the first time I take Brian to a game. He walks down to the front row, and where my uncle's seats are, it's right next to the uh, visit where the visitors enter. So all the, like the visiting team's fans always kind of you know uh -huh. congregate over there before the game. He walks down there and just goes, <laughs> "Hey, Houston." And they all look at me and he just goes, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and every, and most of the guys, you know, played back. Oh, fuck you. And, yeah. But there was like people that were like, oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, and I, you know, I'm, you know, three sheets to the win. I'm with, this is back when you go to Soldier Field and have 
when you have all your gear on, they wand over you, but they're like, yeah, we're not making you open everything up. So you, I had a bottle on this pocket, a <laughs> bottle in this pocket. We were drinking rum and Cokes all day and just halftime. We all took a nap. That was kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> right in your chairs. Yeah. Oh, like it's halftime yeah. and I look over and Max knocked out, Glenn's knocked out and Brian's like kind of. That's a good day. In and out of it. And the poor kid in the Houston jersey in front of us had just frozen spit on his back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you dicks. It wasn't from me. I, he wasn't in front of me. <laughs> I won't say who was doing it, but he's just, he just kept going. Someone was doing it. Oh. It, <laughs> it was just a frozen streak. That's so gross. <laughs> oh. And Jeff, Jeff took me to a great game, but we were up in the bleeders. And it, it was, was a Monday night football game. I, I do enjoy those seats. The only reason I enjoy those seats is because you're right on the 50. Yeah, full and you're, field. I mean, you were up there. Don't get me wrong. But, yeah, you're on the 50, and you're way up top, so you have full field of view. But that game, you were talking about slush. Oh, yeah, it was, that was cool. We'd ordered two beers because that's the way you fucking handle business. And the second one was, was frozen. <laughs> By the oh. time you got to it, all it was, was all you would get was the alcohol that was cold. in the beer. Yeah, and then everything else was not so. Not even during the game, not after, not during the day, not in the afternoon. This was Monday night, so it's seven, eight, nine o'clock. It is fucking freezing, and it goes the overtime. Oh. Like no, I just want to leave. In the first play overtime, Devin Aroma should do touchdown on the scene. Bears, Tutty sausage. We got back in time to miss yeah, the train. Yeah. <laughs> to get, wait, wait. Uh, we missed the 10 o'clock train by like three minutes, so we had to wait there like two and a half hours. Uh, yeah, it was a rough one. Oh, I would have been miserable. But yeah, you and, uh, well, we were talking, uh, when you're telling me you met up with your brother-in-law, it's like, is, yeah, you guys have, because it's your ex-brother-in-law. Yeah. You still, you guys have such a good relationship. Dude, he, he's, he's the reason why I'm an Alabama fan. Yeah. Like, I was always a Notre Dame fan. Shout out to the last podcast because I, I went into this. My great uncle hangs in the Colomades in Notre Dame. He's a two-time, or he's a college Hall of Famer, two-time national champion in the 40s. Like, it's cool. That's like family. When I go there, I get all, I still, I can Nostalgic, go. Nostalgic, like, oh, Every time it. I go, like, my great uncle died in 85. He died of colon cancer in 85. So, I'm 45, go back to 85, so what was I? Five years old, something like that. Yeah, seventy-eight. Well, I mean, I was yeah. gonna say how <laughs> when seventy-eight. Year I was born? born, so I was like six. <laughs> I, was, I was like six or seven when he passed away. But at that age, you remember shit. Like same year that my uncle passed away, the Bears won the Super Bowl. Yeah. And my uncle in like the Chicagoland area was like a beloved figure because he was like the life of the party. He was Zig. My uncle Zig was like one of those larger than life characters that you have in your life. And I look back now and I'm like, man, it's always the lights that burn brightest are the ones that burn shortest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Riverside Rob. Yeah. Burns so bright. Like, and then he's gone. Like every, like the big personality people I know, most of them aren't here anymore. It's wild to me. Yeah. That's weird. Like the biggest personalities are the ones that, but the biggest assholes live until they're <laughs> oh, fucking forever. ninety. Yep, no assholes live forever. So yeah, it's it's wild. It's a wild time when you when you when you start reminiscing when you hit you know when you hit your mid forties and you start reminiscing about like I was I was joking with Jeff about you know all all the snacks that are no longer there. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about some more today. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, oh, remember those Slurpees and the Slurp things where you crack the top or squeeze it? Squeeze it, yeah. It was like a juice box, but it was like the characters were molded into the bottle a or a bottle. Yeah, yeah. But the characters' faces were molded into the plastic bottle. Oh. And it had the small yeah. twist off plastic. Like they still make the same bottle, the bottles like for the high seas. Yeah, but I don't think they have the characters. But they don't have right? the, they don't have the yeah. squeeze it's anymore. But like I remember that shit. I'm like, when is they stopped making those in '95? I'm like, I thought I saw those like. But then you're like, oh yeah, that time thing goes really fast. You wonder say, that's why, why I don't they remember them. them. They're so, so popular. I think it. 
what did they say? Oh, the put uh, it was the pudding pops too. They were talking about. Oh yeah, pudding pops. Jello made pudding pops. You never had a pudding pop, honey. They probably stopped making that in '95 as well. They did stop making it in '95. Mm, damn. Um. So G- you get three years old. I promise, I don't remember it. Jello <laughs> didn't have the factories to make to to go with the amount that they were selling. Mm-hmm. They made like. Twenty million dollars the first year on pudding pops. That sounds so gross. Maybe because I'm not Dude, it's, a it's, kid anymore, it's, and I don't really eat that stuff. But yeah. you think it, you think like stuff's still around. Yeah, like the Vienna ice cream. You find out it's not around, and you're like, why is it not around? It was like it okay, was so, so pudding day. pops. Is it like it was a fro- it was a popsicle, but it was, it was frozen pudding. Yes, so it was, it was like a fudge sicle. Delicious. Ew. But oh, oh no. no. Oh no, honey. No, I love fudge sickles, but this it, sounds it was, gross. It was a fudge sickle, but a creamy fudge sickle. Creamy. They, oh. Oh, I they don't were know. Delicious. delicious. So good. So it reminds me of like Gogurt. Obviously, that's <laughs> yogurt, but it reminds mm-hmm. me of Gogurt, and you can freeze those. Yeah, so but is it the same thing? I'd no. like to try that. I've never frozen a Gogurt. We have, you know what? There's probably one in there from like three years ago. <laughs> Get at her. I don't know if I'll go try that go one. dig in. Go <laughs> dig in the back of the freezer. That's a good one to start with. <laughs> it's frozen. It's fine. Yeah. It's expiration fine. Fine. expiration dates don't mean anything when you freeze it. I think I ate four year old chicken breasts today. Yeah. Well, that's fine. It was frozen. It was yeah. frozen. That's yeah. why I didn't get the Rana. Because yeah. I drank out of hoses. <laughs> Hey, dude, I got it. old chicken strips. <laughs> I I got it. and I did all that shit too. So. I still think we got that shit at C2E2. Oh, for sure. Because we were sick as fuck for a week after. <laughs> you guys for sure did. Yeah, I don't know what it was because the boys had uh, strep throats. At that time? Mm-hmm. Because then I got sick. But when you have a strep throat, you need antibiotics. So then I'm trying to go to the doctor, and they're asking me all these. Remember they wouldn't see me? Yeah, that pissed me off. I and got, I was like, oh, yes, I got so but, mad. Yeah. I need antibiotics. They're like, oh, well, COVID, do you have this? We're not going to treat you. That was after I had it, though. But then then we had to do the whole ordeal where there was strep throat in the house. Yeah. So then they finally gave me the antibiotics. Right, but that's what I'm saying. I think when you got sick with strep, it was after I finally got sick. Like, it it was like March or April, I got sick. And everybody, they're like... It's COVID. And I was like, it's not COVID. And so they tested me for, they shoved shit down my nose and in my throat and it was strep. But yeah, then they wouldn't test him once he got it. Typical Saturday. Yeah, it was (laughs) that, that whole time, Jeff and I, the whole time that was going on, I was like, it's a cold. People need to relax. Well, no, I do have to say at the very beginning, I think like we I mean, we had to work, but we didn't, um, like, we kept the kids away from everybody. Like, we all just kind of stayed away from everybody the first yeah. probably two, three weeks. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, scary. I remember going to my mom's house. And Kayla we were was, like, Kayla we're was waving wa- out the window. Kayla was my mom washing and grocery shit. bags. I was not. Yeah, she was, no, she was spraying. We sprayed them with Lysol when we got home. Yeah, yeah. like, well, yeah, we that, didn't know we what did. I, that's what I meant. You're, you're spraying the Lysol. Yeah, at first it was scary. And then, like, I obviously I work with the elderly, so, like, it was real scary. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, my son's got asthma, so it was just, it was a scary time. And then it, three weeks in, we're like, all right, this all is right. bullshit. We're done. <laughs> yeah. We're fucking done. Yeah, you could go back uh, and watch some of those podcasts. The, ti- the, the, the tiger, the tiger king podcast might be oh. in. Jeff dressing up as Joe Exotic and Kayla dressing up as Carol Bass. Okay, but I think the best part about that is, prior to that, we were all doing what was that app? Um, um like house yeah, party or something. House party, I believe yeah. it was called. And so that's how we all hung out. And I'll never forget. Like we didn't tell anybody. We were just like, we just hey, did it. We're gonna do this, like for something we- fun to do <laughs> in the house. And then they invited us to a house party app, and yeah, we're dressed. Oh, up here like- we are. Just it's just a Thursday night. Well, that was <laughs> Kayla's birthday when we all did. The, we all shotgunned a beer on Kayla's birthday because no one could hang out together. 
So yeah. we all no more face time. Remember? Yeah, we all FaceTimed. We all FaceTimed and did a shotgun. I blew PBR out my nose and she got that out. Was of wow. It. You could get together, but no more than ten people. Well, I remember <laughs> when that first happened because we went by my sister's house, and I was like, "We've got eleven people." Yeah, and here. I had to leave. I'm like, "There's too many people." <laughs> <laughs> Jeff sat in the car the whole time. Yeah. Oh, it's so Don't weird. worry. The air conditioner was on and he was listening to his favorite music. I was fine. Don't weird you worry. Weird times. I had Creed's greatest hits. <laughs> With arms wide was... open. <laughs> I think that's ultimately when you say Creed. Is that the go-to? Yes. Uh, yes. For most people, but it, for, for true bros, it's six feet. I'm six feet from the edge and I'm thinking. <laughs> I love playing some Creed. What's funny is mm. you go back and listen to that, and you're like, "Oh, I get it." Like when I understand you play Creed, why. No one's like, "Who the fuck played yeah. this bullshit?" Everyone's like, "Yes, <laughs> yes." It's like playing Doctor Feelgood by Motley Crue. Everybody's like, "Yeah, yeah." No, there's always one asshole though. Well, there is. Oh, there's as sure. soon as someone plays Nickelback, I'm like, I'm leaving. How dare you? Five I'm, five finger death punch. He's gone. Oh, I'm a. There, you just see my shadow. What's so gone. crazy? I was just thinking the other day about uh, Limp Biscuit. Obviously, that was a moment in time, the yeah. new metal. But just what a weird, what a weird. I was just like thinking of their songs. What a weird fucking oh, band. So like, good. They just captured. They captured the mid 90s angst. Oh, yeah. Because everybody was angry and bitter and. Fuck, fuck the establishment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rage Against the Machine comes out, and everybody's like, yeah, fuck yeah, the government sucks. Yeah, I they sucked through, way before I, that. Uh, I want to go through. I, I remember the hits of Limp Bizkit. Obviously, Nookie and Faith was, you know, the cover and all that stuff, but I really want to go back and just go entire album just to see what it's all Bro, about. I, listen to I the, don't remember. I listen Sean, to that's th how Sean goes to bed. I, I legitimately... <laughs> Le legitimately, once a month, I listen to Three Dollar Bill, y'all. The first album, yeah, because it's that good. Everybody's like, when did it fall off? Was it Chocolate Starfish? Uh, and the hot dog China, Chinese Democracy, yeah. When Wes Borland left the band, when I they had the, the other Chocolate Starfish. That was the that was peak. That's where they peaked. The Nookie. Well, Nookie was on uh, significant significant other. Was it? Yeah. Chocolate Starfish was just a very long album. Wasn't it like a, almost like a two album set? Is them? that with like Roland? Yes. Is that Chocolate Starfish? I think so. I can't remember, man. I don't know. They all, it all go bleeds the together. It all Everyone bleeds together. go out there right now and you download every Limp Bizkit album. Uh, you download yeah. the first three Limp Bizkit albums. This is what I'm going to listen to on my way to work tomorrow. Actually, you know what though? Um, the one that the CD looked like the pill top. with uh, it was, That was right before Chinese Democracy. That was the one that had Behind Blue Eyes on it, where they remade Behind oh, Blue okay. Eyes. Gothica. Yeah, that that album started kind of, that's where the the downturn started going. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm so sorry. I cannot Full concentrate. Disclosure. Bella is standing is here. right here, What's staring up? at me. What do you need? You have okay. two brothers upstairs. Go yeah, upstairs. Go, your brothers will kill the bug. Hey, I love you, daughter. You have, how far in are we? Uh, half hour. All right, you got thirty minutes. Go upstairs. I love you. Oh, I love you. Love you, Bob. I love you. My Go, Lord, daughter. Yeah, Limp Biscuit. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking about that. It was Limp Biscuit, Corn, Deftones, Soulfly, like all those bands that were. There was so many. You'd show up to a party. I remember showing. You know. Yeah. Around that time, they'd have the. Machete man tattoos. Like that was like a the hatchet man. That was hatchet the, man. That was the ICP <laughs> hatchet man. Yes, the hatchet man was everywhere. I just pictured machetes. Because ICP put out the jacket. But he had a machete. Yeah, it was a hatchet. It's a ha he's running okay, the hatchet. Yeah, it was. All right. So that's machete, machete. at that time, that was when ICP was getting all the the indie love because they were signed to a company that was owned by Disney. And Disney heard the album. They're like, no, fuck these guys. And they yeah. <laughs> booted them off the label. Great Malenko. Understandably so. The Great Malenko album was by Disney. Was was, <laughs> was on a Disney. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah. That's crazy. So the, their first albums were all independent. 
And then they had, when they got, they got signed to Universal, I think it was. And then Universal was bought by Disney. And Disney's like, nah, fuck these guys. When you're that age, I mean, <clears throat> we're talking middle school, going into high school, just fucking starting to drink, smoke weed. Was there anything better than ICP? I mean. The song <laughs> Fuck the World. He says fuck 87 times in the song. <laughs> You would just get stoned as shit and just be like, this, it can't get any better than this. <laughs> then this is like, the do you peak know what, of music. What worries me is the adults not like I can listen to some ICP and laugh, right? Like I look back, at, right? Well, no, like if somebody were to put it on right now, I would laugh if I heard it. Right. Like mm-hmm. I would giggle and the netting game is hilarious. Like, I would laugh about it, but like there are adults still. That oh. love them. Oh, that go to the gathering. Every I year. might have brought yeah. this up before on the podcast, oh, but, but it, I out. want. I, I think it's a bucket list item to go to the gathering of the juggalos. I just need to see it. I don't. I'm gonna bring a fucking twelve two liters of Fago, and we're gonna party. You know what? Let me know how it goes. You want? You want? You don't want to go to the juggalos? I just I need to see the debauchery. Uh, I don't know. If you showed up there with. A garbage bag full of whippets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kayla, tell me you wouldn't be down to go to the gathering of the juggalos. You are the ultimate people watcher, <laughs> and that is the okay. people watching central. But, but I'm also the ultimate shit talker. Like I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut because I'd see them and I'd be like, "What the fuck." Oh my! And then uh, we need to look this up and we need to set this up. I don't know if they're going. I don't know if they're doing it anymore because they're really not touring. I don't want to be killed at the hand, at the hand of a. All right, fuck it. Juggalo. Guess what? Your next <laughs> birthday party is gathering with the juggalos. <laughs> no. All no. of us wearing clown makeup. No. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, no, nope, nope. And the whole time we're just going magic, magic, ninja. What magic, magic, no. ninja? No. Oh wow. That is. There you go. He's you like too. a showgirl. Cats are very limber. Chewy. God damn it. All right. Gathering of the Juggalo. Gathering of the Juggalo. Are you about to read one of those already? I was just remembering what I picked last <laughs> night. Actually. He's like, it's over. Yeah, read he's on. been sitting here for hours. They have just waiting. God, that was, that was, we've, we've had some shit fucked up during podcasts, but we've never lost power. No, oh, that was fucked up. Yeah. We had one podcast early that we I completely forgot to switch the uh, the audio <laughs> over, so it was just the computer picker speaker picking everything up. Yeah. Oh. And by the time we got done, we're just like, oh, that was a good one. Then we were like, oh, like, well, shit. boys, guess what we get to do again? Another podcast. Uh, That's back in the day where we were just. I think we you would come over, hot and boxing we would in the garage, hang with out, cigarette smoke. For hours and then we're like fine let's do a it podcast. was it was one and of those then ones we would hang out we would do uh we used to do a twitch, twitch right? not Live twitch sh- but it was what was the other one i thought it was twitch no it was because twitch lost everybody when that other mixer mixer yeah we went so we would go live on mixer because we saw this one dude on mixer <laughs> daddy daddy yeah that was just good <laughs> Tuned up in his garage and just played metal music all night long. Oh, he it would light sense. swords on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. Wow. That, th- those. I miss the mixer days. Maybe we should do a live. We are going to do we a go live. We're going to do a live before. We, we want to start doing like a live either before or after. Most likely before because we're old. And four o'clock in the morning podcasting oh, isn't you. as uh, fun as it used to be. <laughs> I just imagine going live and like people have said that they want that, but and nobody's no going to show up. And no. so it's just going to be the three of us sitting here. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Who cares? We, you know, we, we entertain ourselves. Honestly, when we did Mixer, that's honestly like if someone jumped in and like, hey, where are you guys from? Like, we'd be like so excited. Like, oh, fuck, yeah, someone's watching. <laughs> it's one guy. Yeah, just probably in his whitey tighties. Yeah, we didn't have anybody watching, and we didn't care if anybody watched. We were just and hey, also we're fucking at, at that point getting hammered. We Let's were film this anyway. Smoked, oh, dude. Smoked, and that was when Je- Jeff was chain smoking like you know a Turkish wow. cab driver. Oh yeah, 
Me and Frankie would get fucking tuned up. Big time. Ugh. God, we just... I don't much miss that. I don't miss the cigarette smoke for no. sure. No. I'd but... walk down, you know, at the condo. It was like steps, platform for the front door, then more steps. Cloud of smoke. It, it... And by the time you hit, like, at the very top of the top steps, you, you just a... like... <sighs> cigarettes <laughs> like it's all you, you would smell. open the garage door and it looked like that yeah. scene from uh fast times at ridgemont high where they open the van door and they fall out and this cloud of smoke comes billowing out that's when it except less like. fun oh yeah <laughs> i don't feel like a lot of people uh i don't feel like a lot of people smoke anymore no no they vape which is so much worse but yeah but it doesn't stink well kids doesn't... vape because it's cool it doesn't stink, but it's so much. I mean, not the yeah. smoking cigarettes. Good for you. But, but for, I just remember growing up and always seeing like everybody fucking smoked all that's the because, fucking time. So can I explain something to you? I was talking to yeah. you know my stepmom about this earlier, about how people always think it's funny. Like you smoke cigarettes and people are like, you're going to end up with COPD. Yeah. And people are like, oh yeah, whatever. I don't Same. care. Whatever. Yeah. It's all the people that are so my age. it's. <laughs> well that, so just smart. imagine imagine only being able to like breathe through a straw you don't breathe yeah. through your nose put a straw in your mouth and just breathe through that was that the no that's no that's no. they have the voice box removed yeah no <laughs> this, this is Remember from those commercials yes and they were horrifying <laughs> see those those aren't the ones that had any effect on me because i'm like oh you did that to yourself Rachel Lee Cook, this is your brain on drugs. Oh, how dare you. Where she's cracking that the egg pan. and beating the shit out of the whole room. <laughs> Those are on MTV like all the fucking time, right? These Those were brain. on like Saturday mornings. I don't remember. I don't know. Those were like during cartoons. They would play I do remember that one, though. This well, is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. Well, because she was super hot, too. <sighs> so hot. It's like, yeah, give, if you want, you want to get your point across... Give me a fucking grizzled biker that's just like, <laughs> you want to end up like me? <laughs> Pulling rigs. Right, because all yeah. I remember from that commercial is just wanting to bang. Rachel Lee Cook. Yeah. She's all that. Yeah, she was. <laughs> she probably still is. I haven't looked her up, but I'm guaranteeing hmm. she she probably hasn't. She probably she aged well. She had a beautiful well. face. So I'm guaranteeing she aged well. There's some that didn't age well. I was just thinking the same thing. There's some women that I was like, they are were beautiful. Okay, I'm mm -hmm. just putting it out there, okay? She was not the most beautiful woman, but take Britney Spears, for example. Yeah. yeah. She was cute. Mm -hmm. yeah. She was cute. But I prefer Christina uh, Aguilera. Well, yeah. Another yeah. one, though. She now. My Lord. I'm just saying. So. I'll throw it to her. I, <laughs> to Kayla. What are you throwing to her? Close your Close your ears for a second. No, I don't <laughs> Christina Aguilera now, she can get it. But then she's just, hotter now. But then there's like women like Christina Applegate. Married yeah, but doesn't Kelly she have Bundy. a disease? She's got breast cancer, man. No, I know, but she, she like walks with a cane and shit. Or doesn't she? or she have MS? I one of them. I has, think it might be MS. Alicia Silverstone. I think I know someone had breast yeah. cancer. But Alicia Silverstone's another one. Clueless, still looks exactly the same. There's yeah, there's someone which, then I just wonder like. But well, Britney Spears, uh, yeah, like that's you said, babe. that's oh. also the cocktail of. She's uh, been. Uh, I'm just saying, she's like, like rode hard and hung up wet. <laughs> she just she by was, life, but I she was you, beautiful and now I just. But do you think though that's like okay? So there's all this pressure. You are a pop star. You're everybody's fantasy. You're a Disney kid. First, it seems like all the Disney right, she's kids just been are bred fucked up forever. Yeah, and then like obviously when you get older, you age. I mean, you can't be fucking. Yeah, you can't be on top of the world forever. No, and I'm I'm not talking. Right, but do you feel shit. like I feel like she just? It's got to be fucked up to be wanted by everyone for so long, and then nobody wants anything to do with you. Like, that's got to fuck with your mind. Oh, well, yeah. For sure. Well, that's for why... Sure. That's why, all that's those why they go fucking crazy. That's why all those child stars off themselves. Yeah. Is there's no more fame, there's no more money, there ain't no more free shit. Yeah. You got to work at, you know, the roller mm. rink making chicken nuggets. <laughs> and there aren't even that many roller rinks anymore. 
That was, mm. a, that was another movie reference. If you got that, good for you. <laughs> Todd Bridges and Vanilla Ice working at the same roller rink. What? You don't remember that? You know? Did you see That's My Boy? The Adam Sandler? I did. I did. I forgot about Vanilla Ice was in, Van- even in that. Vanilla Ice. I thought and, you were talking about Cold as Ice. No, Vanilla Ice and Todd Bridges were working <laughs> at the same uh, uh, roller rink or ice rink or whatever it was. It had to be an ice rink. Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Zing! It's not uh, vanilla concrete. <laughs> vanilla wood. <laughs> what would be your rapper uh, name? Vanilla wood. Was it vanilla wood? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. Big Sean, because I'm the original. You are the oh. original, Big Sean. I'll fight him. You heard it here first. <laughs> <laughs> Come get some. You want to fight? You want to fight for the Big Sean name? <laughs> what about you, babe? What would my rapper name be? Yeah. K-Town's uh, finest. No, I don't know. We went over this, I feel like, a couple weeks ago when I was laughing about my nicknames. So it was from funny. High the school. other, uh, she, you bought our dinner and drinks. And then she had, like, give, I don't know why. We're sitting right next to each other. She always K-Wawa. gives me her, her card. card. And I'm like, okay, I, whatever. So I pay for it. It comes back. She's like, sign it. So I just put K Wawa. <laughs> so in in high school, um, I had <laughs> two nicknames. Well, okay, I had three nicknames. Uh, one was K Love, which is what um, my one of my best friends Ashley, her cousin's husband, K-Love. now called me K Love all the time because he was just sweet, and apparently he saw a sweet side in me. I don't know. So that was my nickname. Um, the other two were. <laughs> K Lala, which is why K Wawa made me oh. laugh. Um, <laughs> and the other one was K Murda. <laughs> K Murda. I met her before. She's a bit yeah. of a she's yeah. a bit of a fire plug. <laughs> oh. I'm glad she doesn't come around a lot. Oh uh, yep. She's yep. a murdering yep. bitch. Never murdered anybody, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Slapped the fuck out of some people that thought they might not convicted. Be I oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> No, it's just my my anger. I just, you know, I don't know. I get it, I didn't even have to get tuned up. I just you look at me wrong and I'd get pissed. Yeah. Gabagool. <laughs> what is that? Coming soon. Gabagool. That that shirt's live. Small town infamous. Go get my you some. Go get you some. Get the old Gabagool shirt or the original Twin Lake Snake shirt. Oh, boy. All right. We're on time. We starting these? Yep. Here we go. This is uh, podcast 2.0. All right. Who's going first? Ladies first. No, what? Sean. Oh, sure. My, t- my titties is out. <laughs> Push them together. What, are there any universally loved movies that you hate? Ooh, yes. Um, I might get a lot of flack for this. I think I've said this on the podcast before. I don't really like The Godfather. I'm going to be honest. It's a long movie. The Italians are coming for me. (laughs) You know what, though? The the Godfathers, if you watch The Godfather in clips, like like if they had like a Cliff Notes version of The Godfather, you'd probably like it more. I I like Goodfellas, Casino, Scarface. Godfather is cinematically very good. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, just if that. I can go Siskel and Ebert on it, um, I was bored, very bored. It's funny. It was a lot of story. Yeah, and it's a good story. I just I I like action. Yeah, it's funny I you want... say that though because like I, um, I'm not a huge fan of Scarface. Uh, Scarface is I don't, long. I don't really. Yeah, it's too long. I just. I just I, love that it has that. Uh, well, what don't you like about it? That Ralph, I don't. It just doesn't keep me like intrigued. That like, Al Pacino's not really eh. Cuban. I just, the reason I love Scarface too is it's it's like funny in parts. Like yeah. it's very. His character is very funny and yeah. it is gory, so it's got a it's got a good mix that I I enjoy that movie a lot. Uh, Titanic for me. I think that movie's a steamy pile of shit. Like truly, I, I think I think everybody yeah. loved it because it was the nostalgia of the Titanic and 
I you, still love it. You got and Leo. You got super pretty Leo in it, and you know Kate Winslet's. You know, oh, pay me like when you shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> that that the reason why I don't like that movie is because it's not realistic at all. At all. No. Well, I'm still confused. Like I just we need to get a board and put it in our pool. I was just pissed because oh the door. Yes. Before I watched that movie, someone spoiled it and said that the Titanic sank. So I was very pissed off you want, you <laughs> that wanna, they ruined the ending for me. You want you want to be a, <laughs> such an idiot. You want you want your uh, you want you want to be a, a, a better movie. What? Watch it in reverse. It's, it becomes a, a boat that magically saves the yeah. lives of millions of people, or thousands it's of so people. Great. It's like a country song when you play it backwards. You, you get, get your, your car back. You get your dog back. God. What about you? Honey. What about me? I just said. No, you card. Oh. No, no, no. She said Scarface. I said Scarface. Oh, okay. You know Sorry. I'm really bad at remembering movies and stuff, so I don't. I feel like there's probably a few that many people like and I don't, but Scarface stands out to me. Okay. So. What you got, baby? All right. Um. I don't even know. Let's just go with this one, I guess. Would you rather randomly stub your toe, get a brain freeze, or bite your cheek three times a day? Stub my toe. Oh. Stub your toe when? Oh, three times a day. Randomly okay. stub your toe, get a but brain every freeze, day? or bite your cheek three times a day. Or three times a day. I think it's every day, three times a day. That's just the cheek, though, is three times I don't a day. know. I Dude, your cheek would be so ham- oh, raw hamburger. I know, that'd be so bad. Three times a day, you bite in the same So stub your right? toe. What was it? I'm sorry. Get a brain freeze or bite no, your cheek. I fucking hate a brain freeze. I'll stub my toe. All day long. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. I'll get a brain freeze. Uh, oh, they're so bad. So stubbing your toe. Yeah, you, you know see what? Me you dance know what? Around. Mind now, now that, stubbing my toe. You know what? That's now that crazy. I think, now that I think about it's, that, it's it's weird. I'll stub the brain it and be freeze like, because of having migraines and shit. Give me the brain freeze. It lasts thirty fucking seconds. Right, and then it's I gone. The yeah, then it's gone. If you stub your toe like three times a day, eventually you're gonna just snap that toe in half. Right, and like I don't know about you, but I dance around when I stub my toe. I can't look at it, and I, I hop start around. And I'm like, oh, I stub it. my toe, and I go, Ugh! and then a couple deep breaths, and then it's gone. I so is the brain freeze. So what I what I what I started doing, and I I forgot who said it. I think it might have been Knoxville. It was like. Anytime I get really hurt, I start laughing, and the pain tends to go away. So, like, when I stub my toe, I'll mm-hmm. start laughing. Yeah. And then it's gone. But then I'm like, oh, my, you know, where you hit your toenail. Ooh. The toenail is the yep. worst. It's awful. All right, Jeffrey, what you got, boy? If there were stats available for every aspect of your life, what one stat would you want to see? Mm. Uh, royal fuck ups. No, I don't want. <laughs> I I know those. Those are all burnt into my memory perfectly. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what do you got, Jeff? Um. Yeah, I guess I got to think. I picked this one thinking maybe I had an answer. That's okay. a tough one. That's that's a. But I kind of. I, I am a very caring person. Um, I'd like, I am very uncomfortable receiving gifts and compliments. Well, that's, I, I, I will give someone a gift a thousand times more than I will receive. Mm-hmm. One I don't like, so maybe, I don't know, maybe like the caring stat. I, I, I hope it's high. Which is so funny to hear you say that you don't take compliments well because Jeff's the first person to like walk around, and I know you like sarcastically do it. You're not actually like an arrogant animal, like asshole, but at all, like you will, like you're just always. Uh, I don't know because how to word I just, this. I'm not like I'm not. I may come off as confident, but I'm really not. I just don't give a fuck. Well, that's the thing is, I will sacrifice my pain for the group. Yeah, it's it's well, that's what we do as dudes. To yes, be honest, pretty much. I watched a Bill Burr before you guys got back from your bike trip when I was screwing around down here getting us new drops and stuff. Uh, Bill Burr talking about no guy will ever say, oh, that's a cute puppy <laughs> because they just no. wedge that down in their gut. No. And Dope dog, bro. 
it's one of those ones where too it's i started doing it more now i did a little bit today i i gave a lot of people their flowers today i was it was just one of those days where i was in a you know you're in a good mood and you're like you see your you see your friends thriving in life yeah and if you don't you're an asshole. Number one, if you don't, if you're not like, I'm fucking proud of you for doing what you're doing. I first thing yeah, I said to Jeff, it's hard to put yourself out there, you know. That's another thing that I forgot to shout out. Jeff has a new little side gig. Maybe, yeah, I do. Kicks and canvas. <laughs> He's Jeff does did all the airbrushing. In the See, studio. I need to be better at Big taking animal. compliments. Yeah, I'm just uh, it makes me itchy. But, I'm a giver. But I. <laughs> when i when i saw jeff's logo pop up and the first thing i did was like dude fucking proud of you yes let's yeah. go and then i gave him the little bit of nuggets of advice i have which are when it comes to this shit my advice sucks ass because i just keep swinging eventually i'm gonna hit a home run well, you keep taking chances, and yeah. it's 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 hard because ah, it's so hard because you worry about what other people think, and it's just and at this point right now with with where we're at at this, I just don't care. I don't care anymore. We're Let's having go. fun. I get to hang out with you guys every fucking Saturday, and shoot the shit. Yeah, and people Sometimes listen Sundays. and they enjoy it, even if it's just our friends that are listening. We're, we're making our friends have a better fucking day. Yeah, and I'm happy about that. If I can make someone Shout else's day, friends. if Love I can me. if I can make someone else's day better, I'm happy. Yeah. But if you try doing that shit to me, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. It's so uncomfortable. So it'd be your stat. I don't know. Uh, right hook, ninety nine overall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess mine would probably be pretty similar to like actually, yeah, yours. Like I. Uh, like Jeff always points out to me that I, I apparently give a lot to people around me. Mm -hmm. And so I don't ever really see the bad in any of my friends. You and most of the time, most of the time that's correct. Like there's, I mean, right. There's not much bad. Um, but I get very uncomfortable when somebody does something and Jeff's like, Kayla, like that wasn't okay for them to do. But I didn't see it. I don't get it. Like, yeah. So I, I don't, I guess I feel like it would probably be close to like. We're yours, all pretty much right? on the same like, boat. Yeah, for sure. And then, you know. Nope. Nope. Full disclosure. I got another kid down here currently now trying what? to start laundry. Drop the basket. It's My okay. Lord. You just can't start it yet. We're in the den. <laughs> they don't care. They're children. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I just figured that one was kind of normally it's dick and fart shit. Yeah, that so was like, that, that was that, deep. I might have to come that back around deep. to that one, honestly. Yeah. So I have to really think about that. I'm a pretty compassionate person, I guess. I come off like a dick, but to I the know, people that uh, fucking matter, you know. Maybe your food score you used to be a cook. You did I always? Oh, food score? Yeah, actually, yeah. I want to see where <laughs> I where I rank my flavor cart. I can't, Bella. You know everybody can hear you. You're whispering, but everybody can hear you. What is it? What's the deal tonight? This daughter? is awful. The boys backpack. It's because it's Sunday. In the, the room. boys' backpack. Goodbye. Not even your backpack? Goodbye. <laughs> Sweet child of mine. It's because it's Sunday. All right. Shout out Guns N' Roses. If you got a one time pass to do whatever you wanted, what crime would you commit? Ooh. Kayla's is murder. No. <laughs> K murder. K murder. It's, no. in your nickname. it's murder. I always joke about that, right? People make jokes about like, I'd help you kill your husband. Like, you know, like girls say this shit. But like I could never kill anybody ever. But then it's not a crime though, if you can get away with it. So you can get away with it? Yeah. So like I would go and blow up all the credit card uh Are you going fight club? Fight club. We don't talk about oh. it, but just Erase everybody's debt. I like that. Everybody's debt. Everybody's like back at zero. Y'all own your houses. You own everything. I like that. Everybody starts at zero. Oh, I don't. And then know. I want to see so how long hard. it takes for everybody to fuck their shit back. That's up. hard because like, oh, give some, me two days. Give me two I days. I would like to do maybe for like the adrenaline rush, but then knowing you'd get away with it kind of takes the excitement out. Yeah. Like rob a bank would be like adrenaline all the way. 
I feel like I would love to do like a high, high speed, speed chase. Yes. Fuck yeah. Yes. Yeah, but that goes into uh, my bank robbery. Hey, buddy. We used to do high speed chases all the time. We just never had <laughs> cops behind us. True. No, that's what I would want. That's high what I would want to do. Yeah. High speed chase. I want cops chasing me, I but I want to get away, get away with, it. with it. I'm making society better with oh. my crimes. I think that'd be awesome. Yeah, for sure. No, I'm. But I get caught. I got too much PTSD <laughs> from the '90s and cops. I'm. I'm good with. <laughs> I'm good. Cops I'm good with speed traps. Uh, high speed and traps. All kinds of shit. Having yeah. a. You know what? Having a gun pulled on you when you're a 16 year old kid kind of tenders your perspective when you're. You know. When it yeah, comes to police. Fair. I woke up with a, a house party down in Zion. Shout out to everybody I used to party with down there. Hang out um, with the ZBs. Well, <laughs> most of them were not from Zion, but the house we partied at was in Zion. Well, apartment was in Zion. And I woke up. Trap house. It was a trap house. <laughs> um, we stayed the night over there because we had all been drinking. And so, like, we're not driving back to Kenosha. Yeah. And I woke up to a bright ass light in my face while well, it was the light on the end of the gun from the cops. And I watched my, he, at the time still, he was my ex-boyfriend. Um, but I watched him get tased. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's always good. And time. yeah, that was, I mean, yeah, you know, good times. Lady. Teenage kids, man. Good times. All right. My turn. Yeah, buddy. All right. I'll make, this is funny. You stay over at someone's house, and when you wake up, you realize you pissed in their bed. Do you sneak out or tell them? Oh, I tell them. Hey, man, I was fucked up, and I uh, pissed your bed. If it's fucked up, I'll give you the money to buy a new mattress. Yeah, I'm not sneaking out because they're going to know I pissed anyway. Right, yeah. (laughs) I mean, you can move a cat tree and piss on the wall. God. You could do that. Damn it. What just happened? Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking, just oh, licked in just, your fucking ribs. Oh, Whatever. just blame it on the fucking <sighs> cats, the dog. Yeah, why well, just leave? They're gonna call and be like, "Dude, my bed's full of piss." And I'd be <laughs> like, "Wasn't me. It was your dog." I don't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> There's no stairs. <laughs> All right. Um. Would you rather win a golf tournament for one million dollars, mm-hmm. or just win an Olympic gold medal? Oh no, I want to win a golf tournament. For- no, nah, because the, the gold medal you're gonna get all kinds of endorsement deals and shit. Yeah, but maybe not. Like, look at like, do you think those dudes on those fucking rings that are jacked as shit are getting endorsement deals? Yeah, I'm talking about like the lowest of the low. Golf tournament for sure. To have that Olympic for your country, that gold fucking medal, or win a golf tournament and have a million dollars. Yep. Gold medal. The I ladder. feel like that's a tough no. decision. It's not tough for me at all. I got to pee. Golf tournament. We're almost done. You okay. stop it. We're almost done. <laughs> okay. So uh, you would, what would golf you tournament? Say? Gold medal? I want the gold medal. Golf tournament. Ooh, I'm torn. That's why I picked this one. I was like, ooh, I don't even know what I would do. I would love to win golf and have the million dollars. But yeah, the, I don't know, the the, the prestige of having that gold fucking medal. See, and I don't, it, like there was no thought. Like it was just, yep, million, million dollars. dollars. Boom. All right. Well, folks, I got to pee. No, stop. No. We have, I'm going to piss have, my yeah. pants. I have one right, more. Go in the bathroom. We're still here. Do you have another one? Uh, Yeah. What movie made you cry most recently? Uh, this isn't even... We are going to have to wait um, for him to come back. I don't even know what movie made me cry recently. Shit, what did we watch recently? Um, let me see. I don't know. When's the last time you cried during a movie? Oh, I don't even know. Honestly, like I realized the other day when one of our OG residents passed away. Um, oh, I feel super emotional about that. Um, when I found out on my way to work and I started crying. Yeah. I like, seriously, I stopped and I was like, holy shit. Like I hadn't, I couldn't even tell you the last time I cried prior to that. That's real life though. Yeah, that's that's real life. But I'm like, my point is, is like, 
I feel like it takes a lot for me to cry now. And yeah. so I don't I don't know the last movie I watched and cried. Have you ever cried during a movie? Oh god, yeah. Which yeah. one? Um, What's the last one you can Marley, remember? Well, so Marley and me, I cried. Mm. Yeah. Dogs. Yep, dogs. For sure. Right away. I cry. Um I don't shit, I don't really know. It takes a lot. Normally it's like uh animals dying. That'll get me to cry. Yeah, that's or, tough. Or um, kids or parents. A big thing is like when you've got, you know, like parents, a family, and like the mom or dad or somebody passes mm-hmm. and the family's got to deal with it. That sometimes gets me. But like off the top of my head, Marley and me. Okay. But it's that's been a long good. time that, since I watched that's it. That's a crying movie for sure. I'm trying to think. I've held tears back so many times in so many movies. Just because I'm a man, you know, and I can't let my woman see me vulnerable. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I cry damn near every movie I watch now. There really? is a scene I, I, in um, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. Towards the end, when she's realizing all this stuff and she's talking to a different version of her husband. Mm-hmm. And you are a very strong woman. And I love you. And we, he talks about, or she talks about him not fighting or not being, you yeah. know, verbally, yeah. verbally fight or outgoingly fight. And when he says, I do fight, but I fight different than you do, I was like, that is 100 and fucking 10%. Mine and your relationship. You are very, Go get him. Let's beat his ass. And I am an internal. Kayla's a frontline fighter. And, and, and Jeff is flying I'm the drone. I am a calculated. Let's not just, you know, I am a, the story with the fucking, <laughs> the fucking cows. Yeah. I don't Let's Let's run down and fuck one. I'm like, let's, let's, let's walk, just walk down, down and, and fuck, fuck them all. all. Yeah. But you like, you also are so calm all the time that the but that things... bothers people because people will be like, you don't have any emotion. It's like, no, I have all the emotion, all the fucking emotion. No, what? So like going back to like like people treating you badly, like it's no, you it's just not, you don't. It's not people treating me badly. It's no going back to like I when... fight in a different way. I don't need to punch someone in the face to fight them. I will calculate. But I don't. It's a kill him with kindness ah, thing with you. Yeah, no, yeah, that's my thing is there's never actually a response. Because I don't care about that. Per- I care about you and that's it. So if someone is talking shit at a bar. It doesn't matter. I will well, yeah, leave. That's he different. can call no, me no, a no, pussy no, no. right to my fucking face. Correct. We're that's... going to another bar. I don't care. Correct. I'm here for a good time. That's exactly. different. And you will be like, Fuck that, motherfucker. Yeah, well, because some people need to get punched in the face, and that's why there's assholes like me. I, but I don't need to be that person to be like. <laughs> no, but I feel like I feel like even with important things, you like you are so calm. You don't. There is no response to it he except thinks, for it's fine. He, Jeff, Jeff is while everybody's playing checkers. Jeff is playing chess. Jeff is five moves ahead. When it comes to like the emotional <laughs> shit, like if someone's getting rowdy at the house, say someone's just being a complete jerk off at the house. I'm mm-hmm. figuring out how am I going to handle this how without you're being a cunt. Calmly get them to leave. Right. The whole time. Yeah. Even when we go to a bar. I remember Except they don't the leave. Conversation so. <laughs> with your sister. She's like, oh, we walk in. You're like, I'm like, as soon as I walk into a bar, I fucking scan the fucking room. 100%. Who's a dick? Who's a cunt? Who's loud? Who's quiet? Who's gonna yeah. Who's gonna put the damper on the night? Right. See, and but we'll I, have a couple of drinks, and if someone's, I'm like, all right, let's next we're gonna bar. Have one. Yeah, next bar. See, Instantly. and I feel like I scan it too, and I see the same things, except and for, you're like, let's just see where this goes. Except for I'm, like, I'm like, that's nah, gonna be the first person. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's in, that's my scene from the movie. With, I fight battles in a different way. I like, yeah. so when I like sit down and watch a movie, like if someone says this movie's good, you really need to watch it. I like to really immerse myself. I like to think, put myself in that character's mindset. Mm-hmm. So like if 
I just watched that movie. Uh, it's on Amazon. It's her boyfriend dies in a car wreck. They get into a car accident together and he passes away. But every time she hears a song, it takes her back to that point, different points. Mm. But she can change the past when she does it. So in the one scene, she's going back to the first time that she met her now deceased. And it was like at a music festival. Yeah. And the question was, would you, do you love that person enough to let them go kind of deal? Like if you, you know what happens. So, you mm-hmm. know, so you know how good your life was together, you know, yeah. but to let them live, would you erase all that? Like you had, you had to let that person, your all your memories. So he would to live, let them but live. You'd be to separate. let them live, but you have never. You would met never him. known them. Yes. So bring them back. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, yeah, for yeah. sure, I'd bring them back. I, I got emotional in that movie because I, I was going to say I, I thought about like, hey, if I would have stayed on the phone five minutes longer with Rob, if I would have you know yeah. made a phone call to my one buddy that you know committed suicide, if I would. You know, shit like that. Yeah. It makes me think of all yeah. those times. You'd never know them, but they'd still be alive. Yes. Okay. So yeah, that yeah. made me that made me tear up a little bit because I, you know, I like using my own life experience in the and put you put yourself in that position, but you use your own life experiences in there to see how you would actually act. Yeah. Like it's not just me watching someone shitty acting. It's me like trying to really <laughs> put myself get like immersed into it. If like if the acting's good and the movie's yeah. good. I mean, if I'm watching basketball, I'm not trying to get my, you know, into coops. Yeah, I'm yeah, just sitting there yeah. laughing at dick, the, fart, <laughs> dick and fart <laughs> jokes. <laughs> oh, Anybody yeah, got another nice. one? Yeah, I do. I do, too. All right. What time are we at? We good? We're going to go a little long. We're at an hour and 11. Hey, you know what? We're double timing because we, well, yeah, we got fucked yesterday. We got fucked yesterday. <laughs> All right. Well, would you rather have free strippers for life yep. or no? Don't even ask anything else. Free pizza for life. It's we we've done this a million times. It's always free pizza. Pizza for sure. It's always free pizza. It will never be women. I well, that's why he said you stop. It's free strippers. No, what is it? <laughs> it's always you let pizza. me. You let me finish the sentence. It's always pizza. Always pizza. It's pizza. No matter what, I'm it's going pizza. pizza. Weird. I was thinking free strippers. So. No. They're free anyway. If you just go and sit there and not tip them, they're free. You got to pay to get in unless you know somebody. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, but guess what? When <laughs> I leave Gold the member. strip club, I'm going to be hungry. <laughs> I yeah. guess what's waiting for me? Free pizza. Pe- free pizza. <laughs> Pizza's always the winner. Pizza yep. always wins. Pizza is All right. always the winner. You bang a slump buster. Oh, wait, hang on. Yeah, what? A slump buster. Slump buster. Okay. So so instead of your normal run of sixes, you bang a two. Gotcha. Go. Slump buster. Got it. Slump buster. <laughs> he or she, you know, it's 2024, <laughs> borrows your uh, favorite shirt for the walk home. Do you let the shirt go or bang them again to get it back? Ooh, Let's say gone. you went to a fucking concert. It's gone. Nope, that shirt's oh, gone. Oh, fuck. Concert shirt. That shirt's oh, gone. man. It depends on how good the show was. If it was like one of the best concerts I've ever seen, like, all right, let's say it's one. Of, I'm trying to think of what my favorite shirt is. I don't. I have so many fucking shirts. No, I'd be pissed that my shirt was gone. I'd be sad. Yeah, but but I, but I would let it go. I'd say it had a good run. The fact that I, yeah. the fact that I even slept with that to begin with means I was fucked up, and I'm not trying to do it again. Yeah. So yeah. that shirt's gone. So that sh- your shitty decision costed you a t-shirt. Rest in peace yeah. to my <laughs> re- re- rest in peace my favorite shirt. <laughs> that one was easier than I thought. All right. Yeah. What about you? You didn't answer. Oh, it's gone. Your shirt's just gone. Yeah, for sure. It's in the cosmos. Listen, if oh, you're yeah. if you're banging a slump buster. Such a weird term. Number one. <laughs> number one. Around here, if you're banging a slump buster, this is local area. Their hygiene's probably not a hundred percent. What do you mean? <laughs> There's clean freaks, dude. These are slump busters, bro. These are a slump buster doesn't have to be a two, a two. 
dude, a, a four. I don't know. All right, that's a, that's better. <laughs> All right, you go to a girl's or you go to a girl's house after the bar. You go into the bedroom, and it's just a mattress on the floor. <laughs> Blow up mattress. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> are you going back to get your favorite shirt after that, or are you just saying, "Nah, man, I uh, I'm good." I don't know. Does she have pizza? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it's literally a fucking air mattress. On, it's it's not even an air mattress. It's one of those pool mats. Dudes oh. don't care. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> We're <Jeez>. dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> <coughs> uh, who, what was the line? It was uh, Dave Chappelle. When it was, if we could fuck you in a cardboard box behind a grocery store, we would. Yeah, we wouldn't have fucking sports cars. Com- comfort that... Buys, guys buy comfortable oh, shit weird. because ladies like comfortable shit. Yes. We had the discussion the other day. If I lived by myself, I wouldn't have a single picture on the wall. I wouldn't have blinds. <laughs> right, but that's that what's so funny up. about that conversation <laughs> when we had it was like your brother-in-law <laughs> when we were talking about this because that's when we brought it up. Yeah. He was like, it was so weird. He didn't have any pictures on his wall. And I was like, but if you weren't married, if you were a single dude, yeah, but we'd ha- would we would have, have pictures on the wall, but it'd be like a Reservoir Dogs fucking poster, maybe or Michael. Jordan. You didn't have a single fucking picture on the wall when I met you. Well, the basement was going on; it was under construction. It was not when I first met you. How dare you, babe? Shit was pretty like put together, mm-hmm. and then everything got tore the fuck out. Well, my room in the 90s had a lot of pictures on the walls. Every dude would have a Lamborghini Coutache poster on yeah, his yeah. wall. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan poster, fucking Bush album poster. You were poster. a teenager. as right. a grown-ass man. Oh, yeah, we'd still have the same shit. They'd just be framed instead of in pins on the wall. Probably not, but... I know, all my shit's framed. But when you live alone, like, what, are you going to hang a picture of yourself up? <laughs> No, but you find other... Oh, God, there's no reasoning. You're a man. Yeah, uh, How about that D, baby? <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, man. Yeah. Maybe Dude. on episode 100, we'll talk about the D Kayla didn't get on our wedding night. <laughs> well. <laughs> no, nope. That's called a tease. That was a... Stick uh, around. That night was one of those... Off! It's a direction you can fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. That was yep. one of those nights. I mean, I had a great time. Not for us, though. No, oh, it was it was a no, blast. It was a good time. We had a great night. Yeah. It was. It was. It was actually hilarious. Yeah, don't night. insinuate that we were arguing on our wedding. Night. No, it wasn't you guys. It no, was it the was surroundings. <laughs> it was the surroundings. There was no insinuating. We had a great time. Went back up to the room so I could get changed because my dress was fucking killing me. Mm. Yeah, you were. You had some. Raw ass ribs from that dress. Dude, I had bruising on my. Yeah, it was bad because like the ribbing of it, it cut right here, and so it just, just ugh, it was bad. Mm. So I wanted to change, and then I fell asleep, and well, I went on a journey. Jeff went um, on a journey. Episode one hundred, stick around. <laughs> <laughs> you only got fifteen more to go. What are you yeah, guys bitching about? Fifteen more weeks. Fifteen more weeks. Unless the power goes out. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Thank oh, you to whoever shit. did that or what Mother Nature. Assholes. I don't even know. Yeah. No. Local drunk. See, going back to that slump buster, this is something that you'd probably hear when you were going into her house. The only thing going down this car is the window because your pussy stank. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think I might. Oh my god. All right, folks. Maybe we'll talk about dumpster puss on the next one. Jesus. I think we've uh, explored that one enough. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Not enough. I feel like it needs to be studied by science. (laughs) Her pH balance was fucked up. That brings us to the close (laughs) of another fun filled episode of The Gentleman's Den. Don't forget to uh, follow all the socials. Kayla's got a new uh, social or new Instagram. It's all right. She got a new Instagram. Jeff's got. Kicks and Canvas. I got Small Town Infamous. Go check us all out. 
Because uh, we like money, and we'll take yours. <laughs> hey, 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 can I holler? Can I holler at you? Can I holler? Can I holler, 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 What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> What's wrong with y'all? <laughs>